Hello my friends, uh, from this video, we are going to make our own movie applications. Now first, I want to let you see what kind of applications we will make. So as you have seen this one, so we have a lot of features in it. And to make this application, we are going to use the React Cooks for the front end. And we are going to use the MongoDB for our database. And Node.js for the backend and Express.js for frameworks. And we will also use the empty design for CSS frameworks because I want to focus more on the feature than the styling. And we also need to use the movie db api for fetching all of the movie data i try to upload the videos as soon as possible and i hope you will really like it and see you in our next video thank you hello guys thank you for coming back in this section we are going to make entire layout by using Merstic boilerplate i've made the reason why i use the Merstic boilerplate is if i make it from the very scratch it will take too long time to build the whole application and i really want to focus more on movie app clone than just the basic feature but if you really want to know more about the basic feature too i already made the videos for the boilerplate so if you come to my channel you see a lot of videos for boilerplate i've made and then we will also connect our MongoDB database into our application. These two things are the things that we are going to do in this video. So first we go to the boilerplate repository. So I am going to leave the URL below so you can come in here with that URL. So you can download this file or you can just clone it. So I'm going to download this one. Download zip. You can save this repository in the folder you want to save. So I'm going to save it and then I'm going to open it in here. I get this one. This name will be boilerplate Merstack master. So first you can change the name. So for me, I'm going to say react YouTube app. And then I'm going to turn on the editor. I really like the Visual Studio code and then I drag the file I downloaded inside the editor and then I make it bigger to let you see more easily there, and there are some process that we need to do to run this application the so first thing we need to do npm install the reason why we need to do npm install is if we see in here package.json there are some dependencies we already downloaded uh, in the server part so to download these dependencies that uh, we need to do npm install so click it uh, so if you finish it or uh, if you will see the client and then package.json there are also dependencies that we need to download for the client part clear and first we need to go to client part cd client and then we need to do npm install again as well so now we finished downloading dependencies for the server and the client part. So there is one more thing that we need to do 
is that we have the MongoDB. So we are gonna use the MongoDB for our database. So we need to connect that database into our application. So to do that, so if you come in here, config and the key and production. So first we need to make the file named dev.js. Dev means development and prod means production. So if we are developing our application in development mode, so we are going to use this one. So if we run our application in production mode, we are going to use this one. So Mongo URI. So in here, we need to write this one, module exports and Mongo URI. We have this one copy and paste it and so in here we need to bring some secret key from the mongodb so first to get this secret key so first we need to go to mongodb website we flip over to our uh, web browsers and we need to type mongo db uh, db and click this one to go inside mongodb and so if you don't have an account for the MongoDB, you can just click the try free. So the signing of the MongoDB is really straightforward. So I'm not going to do it by myself. So if you don't signing of this MongoDB, so you can just sign in. So if you come in here, uh, first thing you need to do is the you need to build a new cluster so we will click it i'm going to just choose aws and um, there we are going to use the free tier so don't worry about paying something so to use the free tier so you're going to choose the one which has this free tier tag so i live in the solo but solo doesn't have free tier so i'm going to click the singapore where is the closest to Seoul so for your case depending on where you live you can just click just the ones the, with the free tier tab and then we're gonna just uh, click this create cluster and then you can just uh, click in and click in and I already have it so I'm not going forward from here so so I'm going back and so in here after making it so you need to come in here database access so so in here so we need to make mongodb user so we need to click the add new user so in here we need to type a user na name so i'm going to type the j1 in here we need to type the password so i'm going to type just anything but in here i want you to remember the name and the password because we need to write these two variable in here so that's why you need to remember it and then uh, after typing these two so you can we can just click the add user uh, i already have this name so i type in like this add user uh, so after making our mongodb user here so we click the cluster so now we need to click this connect button and then in here uh, we can click connect your application this one and in here um we need to copy this one so we copy it and then uh, we just need to paste it in here so if you see in here you can see the username and the password so in here so you can just put the username you just made and then the password so for me j1 on and and for password into three four five six seven and then you can just uh, save it so now we did everything for running this uh, Marstech application now we are going to run this application by typing first we need to go back to our server directory to do that cd dot dot and then in here we can just type npm run dev so if you have this kind of error address already in use the 5000 that means 
uh, the other server already is running on the 5000 port so because we are we are using the 5000 port for the server if you see in here and then if we go down so we our application is listening to 5000 port in the development mode so we are going to first kill that server that is running 5000 by typing p kill and node and then we are going to type npm run dev again to run our application so this is our starter point for our youtube clone so if i first briefly explain about this starter point so we already have a sign up feature and then sign in feature so this feature uh, include the JWT web token and if we see our code in here even the Redux the state management part is also already included in here uh, in the SRC action and reducer but well, we are not going to use the reducer a lot we are going to use the reducer for only user data state so if we come in here and if we just turn on our Redux extensions so in here you can see the user's data uh, we didn't log in yet so that's why is authentication force and error but if we log in so log in here so i already signed off with this user account after signing in if i turn on the redux extensions so we can see is us changed into true and then user's id and user's email and name aurora and image is included in the redux container even the login success is true because the real login so if you don't know about the redux yet uh, it actually doesn't matter just that we are not going to use the redux a lot we come back in here so from here we are going to really make the website so i hope it will be really helpful for you and thank you for watching this video and see you later thank you hello my friends so today we are going to figure out the what is the movie db api how we use this api so to know that uh, first we are going to the website of the movie db by clicking in here and we come in here first to use this api we need to get the api key so to get that api key we need to log in so if you didn't sign up in here yes so first we need to sign up so we will write the name username and then we will type the password and we will like write the email and then click the sign up button so i will type the my username again and then password and login so now we came in here to get the api key so we first click this profile and settings button and then we click the settings and if we come down in here so there is the api button so click this one and we can see this click here so we click this one and then we are just a developer so click this developers and scroll down and down and down and click this accept so i type everything that was required before and then i came in here so now we have our api keys in here so we will copy this one and then we will put this one inside our text editors if you see in here so inside a component and there is a file name config.js we will define that in here export the const so the api key so the paste it in here and so we also need to define more variables in here so the next things that we need to define is so if we come in here so this is the way how we request some api in here i want to just copy this one and then paste it and then i will replace this one with the api i just got and then i'll put it in here so i got all of the information about the specific movie 
So this is the way how we send the send the request to this API. So if we see the different one, maybe uh, I will click this movie get account state. So and then I click this try it out. It come down. So if we just send this request, we can get the information about this movie's account state. And if I just click this get keywords and then click this try it out and then if I use this URL to send the request I will get the information about this keyword so this is the how we use the, the movie DB API and if we come back in here so there is some the common parts that we need to write for the URL now that is the HTTPS API and dot movie DB dot org slash three. This is the same parts we need to type for uh, making the request. So we will make this one as a variable in here. So export const API URL. So we copy and paste it in here. Uh, and there is uh, some more things that we need to define in here. So the thing is the so when we the, get the image from that API, so you can see in here more in detail. So the way is that we just type this URL HTTPS and image and td tmdb org and t slash and p. And after that, this will be the size of the image. And after this one, that uh, will be just the name of that image. So this part is uh, always the same URL we need to type. So we will get this one as a variable again in here. So export and const image URL like this. So now we did all the configuration for the movie db api in the text editor before finishing this section so i want to fetch the movie data by latest by using this url so first i'm going to landing page and i come back to text editor i will go to landing page and in here by using the use effect and delete the unnecessary parts so in here uh, I will do fetch. First one's the input. That will be just this URL. I just configure this URL in here. I need to import this one from here. Import API URL from config. And then I put this one in here. Movie popular API key. I also need to bring the API key and language will be English and we also specify the page which will be one after doing that we will get the response and then we need to make this one as JSON and we will get the response again uh, we will see which kind of response we got from this fetch so i uh, just save it and then first i need to just run this application to make sure what this response is npm run dev okay i didn't import this use effect in here from the react library so i will just put it in here so copy so save it and come back to our application and i will turn on the console and just uh if i click this one so we fetch a lot of data about the movies the from the movie db api so like all of the movie information by latest so works really fine so thank you for watching this video and see you in our next video thank you hello my friends uh, in our last video, we left off after fetching all of the movie data in here. Today, what we are going to do is to make the landing page. This will be just this part. So to make this landing page, first we will make an entire template briefly first. Like 
this entire template. And then we put all the data to fetch from the movie API into state. If we come to our text editor by doing like this, we got all of the movie data, but we need to put this data that comes from the API into the state by using use state. And then we are going to create main image component, which is this part. So after that, uh, create the grid card component. This will be just this part. And lastly, we will create load more function. So if we come in here, if we come down, there is a load more button. You see, load more button. But I already made the infinite square function in here. That's why even though I didn't click this one, if we scroll down a little bit more, then we can have more movies in here. But anyway, first I want to make the load more button. So first, uh, we are going to make an entire template briefly. So now we flip back over to our text editor here. So in here, we are not going to use this template, so delete it. So now I'm going to make the template here. So we are going to use the entity design for the styling. So we will bring this one from the entity design. So first I'm going to save this one and look at here. So now we made this uh, main image template and then we need to make this body. So in here. Now it's time to make this grid card template. So now here is the parts we need to make the grid card. This part. And lastly, we need to make this load more button. Go to more button. So we made all of the entire template briefly, so now we have the main image here, load more button, and in between here, we need to have the grid cards, but in here we will make it later. So the next thing we need to do is to put all the data fetched from movie API into state. So we come up in here. So inside in here, after getting the data from the API, we need to put this respond and respond and result. All of the leisure data here will be put into the state. So state name will be just movies. This will be array. And same movie here, response and result. Because this one is result like that. 
So now we've done this step two. So now we need to create main image component. To do that, first I need to create the folder named sections inside the landing page. Inside in section folder, uh, I, I will make this main in image .js. So RFCE. So inside in here, I will bring all of the data in here. Uh, all of the code in here and then copy and paste in and I will make the component main image and I need to import it from here from section and main image and we need to put some props in here because inside in here there is a URL part, but we cannot get the URL just right in here. So we need to get the data as a props. Uh, we also need to get this part too. So inside in here, like this. First, I will take care of this error in the title part. We actually need three props for this image, for this title, and for this text. So we need to bring these three props from the landing page. So image and title, here text, text. This will be image, and this part is title, so we can get it from here. First, uh, we need to put the uh, so if we see this uh, fetch the data in here, readers, so we will see the first movies, use this uh, first movies image backdrop path as a main image. So to get this one, first we need to use this image URL in here. We need to give the size of the image. This one is really big, so that's why wide 1280. And then we need to put this back drop path so to get this one first response and result and index zero and back drop path so it will be movies zero and back drop path and this will be image path for the main image but we don't have this image URL, so we need to put this one in here. So now we need to put this title. This title also comes from this original title. So movie and zero and original title like this. And then this text will be this overview, the surviving resistance face like this movies and over view so now we save it and we go to inside of main image inside in here we need to get the value we got as a props and image because it was image in here and we also need to get the title as a props in here title in here it, it will be props and text so now i'm going to save it and i will go back to our application again so now we got this error backdrop path is undefined so we need to think why we got this undefined error we try to get this movie and the index zero of the movies and then we want to get this backdrop pass. When we render this part, the speed for getting this one is slower than rendering this whole part. That's why we couldn't get this backdrop pass. That's why uh, when we get this kind of situations, we can do it like this. So when we already have movie and index zero information, we will render this part. So we can solve this problem. So now, refresh it. So we are not going to that error anymore. We got all of the images and the title and text well. So the next thing we need to do is 
create grid card components. So now we come in here, brought this one and put it in here. And then we will use the map method and we got only one movie and index. And in here, first we will do react fragments. And in here, we are going to make the grid card. So we don't have this grid card component yet. So inside the section, make the file named grid card ts and rfce import this grid card in here so first we will make this grid card template inside grid card component in here we need to make this column come from the and the design so by using this column so this one load is 24 size so if we want to have four column in one load we will just give six size for one column so large size we will give six size and in medium size we will give a size and when it is extra small we will just give 24 size to make only one column in one row so position relative and then we need to make a link here because after we clicking this one we need to go inside this movies detail page so h left so inside the link we need to have the image so inside the image, we need to have a styling, 100%, and height will be just 320 pixel, and we need the alt and S SRC. So we need to have this link information and SRC source information for the image. So now we need to get these two information as a props from the landing page again. So in here, image and movie id so because we need to use the movie id for this link as we did in here we will do again in here first we need image url and then this one size will be wide 500 wide 500 and now we need to get this movie poster path so we need to get this one so movie poster Pass because we have this one like this movie poster pass. But if we do like this again, I think we are going to get error again because the rendering speed is the faster than we fetch this pass. So we can do it like this movie and poster pass. If we have this move poster pass, we will just give this one. So by doing like that, we are not going to have any error for that. And for the movie ID, you can just do movie and ID. So now these two things are enough for this grid card props. But we also need to put this index for the key. So we are not going to any error. So we go to grid card again. So we need to put in here props and props that image because so we send this one as a image name and in here the link will be the movie and props dot movie id we got also this as a movie id naming but we didn't make this route yet inside the app.js so we go to app.js in here so we make that route there will be movie movie id and that page will be movie detail page anyone can go inside this movie detail page so we didn't import it make the page inside the views further uh, make the folder named movie detail page 
uh, page and make the file name movie detail page.js that's rc save it and then use movie detail page movie detail page so save it and this one just say so save it and save it so now we go to our application and here i'm going to refresh it and i'm going to make it wide to see all of the components so you see now we got really nice graded cards in here so four columns in one load and the last thing we need to do is the load more buttons in here so if we click this one we need to fetch uh, more movies so we need to make this unclick the handle click function up here const so what we need to do is if we click this one we need to trigger this fetch again but not for this page one just this 20 of movies is for the page one but if we go down and if we fetch one more again that page will be two and if we click this load more button again this page will be three so by changing this page number we need to do fetch this again and again that's what we need to do after clicking that button we need to use this one again and again so we put this out of this use effect and we make one function in here fetch movies pass like this so this part is the pass so we need to put this pass pass in here and then we do like this so end the point So we can put this one. So now, when we first load the page, we will to fetch this one uh, with this endpoint, page one. But when we click this handle handle button, so we are going to use the different endpoint. It could be page number two or three or four. So we need to put this as fetch movie function inside in here. And we also need to have the different the end point so to get this uh, page number first we need to know uh, the current page information but if we see the information we got in here we you see this one page one right so we have that page information here so when we first get this information from the movie api we can also put that data inside a, a state again so that that will be a current page and this one will be zero and current page will be response and then just page page and and the point will be just to bring this one here like this and then we Put this one like this like this and plus one because we are in this page one when we click this button we need to get the page two's information so that's why we need to do plus one and we put this endpoint in here so that's all we need to do for this load more button function so we save it then re refresh it and we are trying to click this button oh now we have one more problem what we are supposed to expect is if we click this one not third page will replace the uh, previous page we were expecting this one just will be added after previous 20 movies so how we can solve this problem so if we come in here when we fetch it and when we uh, put all the data inside the same movie we are just uh, 
put this third page or your first page result inside the movie state. So that's why it happens like this. So to serve this one, uh, we need to do like this. First, we make this one as array. We get all of the movie data in here by using spread operator. We can use the concat either the spread operator. So now we save it and we go back to our application here. So now we are going to click this load more button again. So now we got this second page information after this the first page information. And click it again. We got the third page data after first and second page. This is what we needed to do inside this video. So thank you for watching this video and have a nice day. Hello my friends. Today we are going to make this movie detail page. There is this same main image component and there is uh, information about this movie so title or one time or this kind of information and if we click this toggle actor view so um, there are crews for this movie so this is what we are going to do in this video so to make this page first we are going to fetch detailed information that belong to a specific movie so we are going to so fetch all of the information about this movie so after that so we are going to put this data uh, inside the state and then we will make this entire template briefly and then we also fetch the curse information that appear in this movie because when we fetch this information about the movie uh, inside that information uh, this one is not included so that's why we need to fetch the data again for this curse so now we do this the first step so by going to our text editor in here so we go to movie detail page in here so by using this use effect delete here delete here so in here we need to do fetch again as we did uh, in here like this so we are going to bring this one and put it in here and we also bring this configuration from here but end point is for getting all of the movie data but right now what we need to get is this one specific movies data so this endpoint needs to be changed into like this one movie id so now we get this movie id from here so how can we get this one so that is from like this props match params and movie id so we need to put these props in here and we don't have the page here because it will be just the information for this one movie so there is no page so we delete it um, this is the way how we uh, fetch this one specific movie's information so after doing it we get we do then and we will get the response from that API and we need to make this response as JSON data and we will do response again and we will see which kind of data we will get from here by doing the load console load so first I'm going to turn on this application first npm run dev so I'm going to turn on console panel and see the console panel here there is object so I got all of the data about this one movie titled the Star Wars so this response was as we expected so now we need to put this information inside the state so we need to make the state movie here by using set movie we put this response here so now what we need to do is to make a brief entire template in here First, we will have this main image. We can get this one from landing page. Here, put it in here. So maybe this one needs to be just movie. And we also need to import this main image. And, and in here, we need to have this movie into table
we are going to use the empty design for the table. So I'm going to uh, bring that one in here. So and then I I will get it from the empty design here. Ruby, 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 and then. Now we need to have this toggle button. It will be very similar to this one. Now we come to this part. I need to change this position into the center. In center. And I need to bring this button from the end design. This one too. Oh, now it's good. So now what we need to do is to the fast cruise information that appear in this video because the inside this video this cruise information is not included so that's why we need to fetch it again so come in here after being successful for getting this movie information we want to get the information for the cruise so we need to have one more this end point so we need to copy this one and paste it in here the parts we need to change is here first thread this and we need to delete this part so this is all for getting the cruise information so we also need to then again response and response and json and then response and we will make the one more state for storing that cruise information you just state cruise so it will be array set cruise response so we bring this cruise state and green card cards for cruise so as we did in here we are going to do the same things we need to bring this row Uh, we need to change this movies into cruise and cruise and we need to uh, import this grid card uh, we need to change this name into crew and crew like this our props needs to be changed so I first delete them and first I give this after props to indicate this information comes from the movie detail page not from the landing page so to differentiate it so I give this after props so because of this one if we go to grid course so we can do like this if props and actor we can can do like this and if it's not we can do like this so we come back to movie detail page again we need to give more props if we see here there is an image for the cruise we will have image again so first i will just do console log for this cruise information and then save it Oh, so now we got errors and the reason was i need to specify the crew here true after this response like this so i save it again the errors went away so so now we need to keep this props in here parts uh, so chris image is like this profile path we need to get this one so this we need to change this one into true and true and profile pass profile pass that this is all for the props so we go to grid cards in here so we are going to copy this part and paste it but we don't need this link so delete it so save it so in here save it so we go back to our application and we couldn't get this image so what is the problem uh, if we see in here we didn't give this full pass we only give the pass for the image name so we come back in here so i need to go to landing page and i need to bring this one and then come back in here and paste it and save it and come back in here so now we got all the images but there is some cruise 
which doesn't have a image so we are not going to get the persons the, who doesn't have a image so we give these conditions only the person who has total pass will get grid card like this and save it and come back in here uh, but it's rare we have four duplicated image and two duplicate when it was wrong maybe i need to find some problems Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I need to change this one into cast. Uh, uh, maybe it was cast without S. Save it again. Oh, uh, now it's correct. It, it was the cast, not crew. I'm sorry about that. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to make this function to toggle this one. We go to our button and in here make the unclick event so name will be handle click so make this function in here const handle click and we are going to make the state to control that and name will be actor toggle initial value will be force and set actor toggle here, actor toggle like this. So we need to give the com condition for this grid car. Only when the actor toggle is true, we are going to render this part. Come back in here. So I'm going to click it and then click it again to hide it. So it works perfectly. So thank you for watching this video and see you in our next section. Thank you. Hello my friends. In this video, we are going to make favorite feature. Uh, that is, if we come inside the movie detail page, there is a favorite button in here. So if we click this one, uh, first we need to log in. So we come back in here and log in and go back to the movie detail page. And in here, so I am going to click this one. So now I add this movie to my favorite list. So if I go to the favorite page, so I can see this movie listed in my favorite movies. So make this button so feature is the ones that we are going to do in this video. So to make this feature, so first we come in here. First, we need to make the favorite models. There are five fields in this collection. Uh, but in here, make favorite button UI, but we already have this one in here so we don't need to but after this what we need to do is the uh, fetching the number of how many people add this movie to their own favorite list that is that you can see this one number if I click it again it becomes zero let's see if I click it again it becomes one again so we need to get this number information from the database so this is what we need to do and the other one is to fetch the info of whether I already add this movie to my favorite list or not so if I click it uh, click this one I already added this movie into my favorite list that's why we can see it not favorite but if I click it again so we are no longer adding this movie to my favorite list. That's why we can see add to favorite these words. We also need to get this information from the database. After fetching these two data, so we are going to populate the data in the browser like this. So that's what we are going to do. So first we are going to make the favorite models. So first we go to our text editor. Uh, first we need to go to the model folder. You can see in here, but now we don't have the favorite models in here. So make the model .js, and we are going to copy all of the scripts from the user JS to the model JS so that we can make it faster. So delete the unnecessary parts. The here delete it. So now we need to change the name. So this one will be the this one will be the favorite schema, and then copy and paste it. And this one will be favorite, and copy and paste it and paste it. 
uh, in here we need to put the fields but we have five fields that we need to have for this favor collection so first will be the user from user from and type is schema and types object id but actually we didn't have the schema that comes from so schema uh, it comes from the mongoose and schema and then the next field is the movie ids movie id type will be ah we need to have one more says so there is we need a left so it can so this one look at the user model so the type for movie id again so this will be string and the next one is the movie title type will be string again and the uh, movie image type will be string and and, and lastly it's the movie runtime movie run time so type string uh, that's it for the favorite i need to change this one into favorites uh favorite okay so after that uh, we need to do step three in here so first we need to go to the movie detail page in here so in uh, rather than just uh, putting the button in here and then we do unclick like this and then fetch something from in here uh, we are going to just uh, make one component only for the favorite feature so they will be more clear for this movie detail page so i'm just going to make the uh, make the favorite component first so inside the movie detail folder I'm going to make one more folder named the section and then inside the section folder I'm going to make the file named uh, favorite.js in here rfc to make the functional component and just in here I'm going to bring this button and put this one in here And then save it and then we need to import that components we just made it favorite import sections and favorite now i'm going to save it and come back to our application uh, first i need to turn on my application by typing npm run tab so now we are inside our application. So if you see in here, so we have this add to favorite buttons. Uh, even though we click this one, nothing happens because we don't have only functions. So that's what we need to make from now. So we need to go to the favorite page in here. So uh, first we are going to get the favorite numbers. So we are going to do the use effect inside in here delete the unnecessary parts and we need to bring this use effect from the react library so we are going to use the axios to uh, make the http request that will be the post request um, first we need to import it axios from this request the uh, pass will be the api and favorite and favorite favorite number and we also need to give the variables the for this api and then response like this if response and data and success we'll do something and else alert fail to get favorite number so which kind of variable we need to so which kind of properties we need to put inside the variable so in here const variables and here so to note this one so if we go back to favorite model there are favorite fields in here so we need to get the this information from the client and we need to put them inside in here that's why we can just bring all the properties from the models in here so first user from and the second one is movie id here and movie title and movie image 
lastly will be run time will be long time so now we need to think how can we the values for this one and this one this one from so we can get this value from our parent components which is movie detail page so we need to bring those informations as a props so inside in this the favorite components first we will give the we need to put the movie user from so how can we get this user from if we come back to our application in here and we turn on our console and then inside the applications so if you see the local storage uh, in here we have user ID so we can get this user from from this one user ID so to get that local storage get item and user ID so now we have this user ID's value in here so after that we also need the movie ID put in in here movie IDs now we can simply have this movie ID because if we scroll on we already have this movie ID so if we just uh, make this one in here so we can use this movie ID globally so we can put this one in here and the last thing we need to get is this three information is inside the uh, inside of uh, this movie state so we can just put this one as a movie info and inside in here we can just put all of the movie information so now we go back to favorite and inside in here it's the props and use user from and props and user uh, props movie id because we name our property is the movie ID and last last one is movie infos so props and movie info so if you see here original title movie and original title so we can put this one as in here and then props and movie info and image name will be the backdrop pass this one so movie info backdrop path and lastly for movie runtime so if we come back in here so here runtime props and movie info and runtime and we put this props in here so we so the errors go away so now we can make this api inside the favorite controllers so we go down and here inside the ROS further so we make the file name the favorite.js and we copy or from the users js and paste it in here and then we are going to just delete every the apis we don't need and we need to import the favorite model because we will use inside our favorite controllers and then we also need to change this name into favorite and the one more thing we need to do is to come to the index.js in here and we just copy this one and in here and we need to change this name as a favorite because when we just send the request we will use api favorite that's why in here it has to be favorite so and ROS and favorite because the, we make this file inside the routers named the favorite so that's why we also put this name in here too so why we need to make this one is so first if we send a request in here it comes to index.js in here so it will see this one and then it will route this request into the routes slash favorite so that means just inside the routes and favorite so it comes to in here and then we need to put this last of pass information in here so first uh we see the api favorite so it goes to index.js in here api favorite it will route this request into the favorite.js file and in here, it will also find this favorite number. So that's how 
this API favorite favorite number comes to this part. So we are not going to use this one and this one is the post request so change this one into post. So in here what we need to do is the find favorite information inside the inside the favorite collection of by movie ID. We bring the favorite the models from here and then we will find by movie ID. So this one is inside the movie model, movie ID, this one. We send this information from in here, movie ID. So that's why we can get that information. We'll be request the body and movie ID. So in here we will execute the query like this and we will do the callback call. So we will call the callback functions, then error and then favorite in here. If we got some errors, we need to return response status and 400 and send error. And if it was successful, so we will get the we will so we will send the response and status and 200 and JSON and success true and favorite num number will be this favorite and length. The reason why I put like this is uh, inside this favorite information, there are information who already add this movie into their favorite list. So if three people already added this movie into the favorite list, we can have three information. So that's why if we do length, we will know how many people already add this movie into the favorite list. That's why I put that length in here. So if we come back this favorite component, and then I can get the favorite uh, number information as a response and data and favorite number like this. But I want to put this one inside a state. So I first make the state, use state and favorite number. And it comes from the zeros and we also need to bring this use state and we will set favorite number so that's it for this step three so we need to move on to the step four faster information of whether I already add this movie to my favorite list or not so below this one we're going to do axios and post request again and the name will be api and favorite and favorite and we will put the same variable inside in here and we will get then and response if response and data and success true so we will do else alert fail to get favorite info so we need to go to the favorite controller to make this api again so favorite copy and in here paste it and copy this one and paste it and put this one in here and first i need to delete this part because we are not going to use that in here so in here what we need to do is as we did in here, so we also need to find favorite information inside inside favorite favorite collection, but not by just movie ID, uh, but also by the user from because we need to know whether I am already added this movie to my favorite list or not. So that means we also need to have my ID, which is the user from right now in here. 
so that's why when we do this one uh, in here we only use the movie ID to find the information inside the favorite collection but we also need to put the user from and request body and user from because we already send the information like this so that's why we can get it like this and then we will do um, execute the query and we do and we code and callback function again error and favorite error return risk and status for hundred and cent error now in here's how can we know if I already favorite this movie or not so if we scroll up inside this favorite there are all of the information the who already added this movie as a favorite list like if three people already added this movie so there will be the three information but in here we also put this user from two so that's why if i already add this movie as my favorite movies we will only have one information inside this favorite if not we are not going to have any output from this one so by using that logic so first i set this variable as a force and then if this favorite the length is not zero that means if we have only one information inside the favorite that means i already added this one as of my favorite movie so it will be just true so this is the first means i didn't add this movie as a favorite but this true means i already added this movie as my favorite movie so status in json success true a favorite and result like this so that's it for this the favorite api so we come back to our favorite component and inside in here i first i want to make this stay first uh favorite f force for the initial state so set favorite in here okay like this and response and data and favorite because we name this one as the favorite so now we finish up to this step force and lastly we just need to populate the data that we got from these two apis inside a browser so by using this favorite number favorite number like this and then by using this favorite state so if we already add this one as a favorite movie you can just say mm, remove from favorite we didn't add this movie as a favorite so we add to favorite okay so i'm going to remove this parts and save it and we go back to our application in here oh now we couldn't get number in here so it, this number we couldn't get it maybe there is some error so maybe uh, so okay if i go back to favorite controller in here okay i use this the capital f but I used this small letter M, so that was the problem. So I changed this one into a favorite number with small letter F, save it, and then come back to our application. And then I'm going to just refresh the page. So now we have just this number zero. So thank you for watching this video and see you in our next section. Thank you. Hello my friends, in our last videos, we made this favorite button, but 
even though we try to click this one actually nothing happened because we didn't make any function for this one so that's why we are going to make the function for this favorite button so to do that so there are two cases we are going to miss when we click that buttons so first when, when not adding yes when we click it we are going to add that movie into the favorite list and uh, with already added when we click that button we will remove that movie from the favorite list so first we are going to take care of these first situations so first to go to our text editor in here so we need to go to favorite component here so if we scroll down so there is a button so we need to make the on click in here we are going to name the function on click favorite so make this make this function in here const and arrow function so we are going to take care of this first situation so like by using the state in here uh, for the status though of whether we already add this movie into the favorite list or not so bring this state in here if favorite and else like this so in here when not adding yet and in here when already added so we are going to first make this one so we will use axios as we always did so this will be post request and the name will be api favorite and the add to favorite so we are going to put the same variable we used before in here in our last section so we are going to make this one as a global so like this so we put this one inside in here and then we will do then and response if response and data and success and else and our fail to add to favorites and now we are going to make this API inside the node server so by going to fa favorite controllers in here we are going to copy this one thing and then paste at the bottoms and we copy this one and paste it for the pass and then we delete all the unnecessary parts and so what we need to do in here is that we need to save the information about the movie user ID inside the favorite collection. So if we come back to our favorite components, uh, screw ops, we already put all of the information inside a variable so we can easily get the, all of the information by using request and body so we need to put this information inside a favorite collection first we need to bring the favorite model and we need to make the instance new and inside in here we need to put all of the information that they got from the client const and favorite and we will save this one by using the save method and we will also call the callback functions the error and dot and if we got the error return response and json and success and force and error and return a response and status and 200 and json and success true so now this is for the add to favorite api so now we go back to our favorite component in here so after being successful for this add to favorite so what we need to do is we need to change we need to increment this number by one and we need to change this words too so to do that we need to change the state so say favorite number and favorite number plus one and set favorite and we will toggle this favorite so now we also need to make the API for when it is already added so we're just gonna to copy this one 
and then paste it in here. We will rename some of the st stuff. Uh, this one will be remove from favorite. And we need to do this one for now. And we need to change this one into fade to remove from favorite. And we also need to make this API inside the favorite controllers in here. Just copy and paste it. Yep. Delete it. So what we need to do is we save the information in here. So we need to find this one and then we need to delete it. To do that, we will use the favorite model and then we will use the find one and delete. And we will use the movie ID to find that information inside of favorite function. So request a body movie ID and we also need to use the user from so request a body and user from so and execute the query and call the callback function error and dot if error return response status 400 and json success force and error response and status 200 and json success true and doc so that's it for this remove from favorite api and save it and go back to our favorite components and in here we're going to do very similar things as we did in here so just copy and paste it and we just need to do minus one uh, but I may one mistake. This one is not just favorite. Uh, this one is the favorite number. So favorite number and favorite number. And the, this this part for the favorite status. So it will be the same because by using this one we can just toggle it. So so now I'm going to try to click the buttons to test it. And so I'll come back to our application and refresh the page. And then I'm going to click it. Okay maybe there is some errors i tried to find it really quick uh problem was in here i use the same uh set favorite number for this one it is not favorite number this one is set just a favorite thing for this one set favorite so i'm going to save it and then go back to our application and refresh it first and i'm going to click it again so now it works really well so thank you for watching this video see you in our next section thank you hello my friends uh, today what we are going to do is we will make this favorite page so what this page does is if we uh, go inside any movie and if we click this favorite button and if we go back to our favorite page and we can just see the information about the movie we just added into the favorite list so this is what we are going to make in this section so to make this page first we are going to create a brief template for this favorite page just a brief template and then we are going to fetch favorite movie data stored inside the mongodb and we will populate the data we got from the mongodb in the browser and we will create the remove function just uh, in here, if we click remove, it will go away from favorite movie list. So I'm going to click all of the remove buttons so we don't have any favorite movie now in here. So this is what we are going to do. So first we will uh, make the brief template. So go to our text editor in here. First we need to make that page. So inside the view in here, I'm going to create the folder named uh, favorite page and then inside the folder I just made I make a new file named favorite page .js and I, I will type ifce for the functional components and then I will go to app.js to make that route for the favorite page import favorite 
favorite page from views and favorite page and favorite page and we will make make one more route in here by copying and paste it and we will copy this one and paste it and anyone can go inside the favorite page so we will set this one as no and the um, test will be just favorite uh, like this so i'm going to save it and i will also make the uh, tab in here inside the nav bar so first i need to go to nav bar in here but it will be left nav bar so i'm going to just delete this unnecessary parts and then i just, just copy this one and then paste it and the name will be favorite and just the favorite and here the pass will be favorite because the, we set this pass as a favorite so that's why we need to uh say pay, favorite in here and save in here say, and now i want to turn up our application by typing npm run dev so now we are inside uh, our application and inside the favorite page so nothing we can see in here but if we but if we type something in here we can see this word favorite page in here so we are going to make the brief template for this favorite page first we will make just this part and favorite movie by me so and then and now we need to make this table and there are three columns so in here movie title and movie runtime and remove from favorite so So now I'm going to save it and then go back to our application in here. But we don't have any styling in here, so I need to make some styling for the table. So we flip back over to our editors in here. Just uh, I'm going to make the CSS file uh, named the favorite the CSS in here. Table font family. And save it and we need to import the CSS file from the favorite page so in here import favorite.css and we need to save it and come back to our application so now we have some spot styling for this title so now what we need to do is this step two: fetch favorite movie data from MongoDB so we will do the use effect in here and then delete this part and this part and import this one from the red app and we will bring the use state to for later so i'm going to use the axios in here for post request and the name will be api and favorite and get favorite movie and we need to put the variables in here so which kind of properties do we need to have inside the variables so first constant and variables in here we just only need one property which is the user from 
because the we need to get all of the favorite movie edited by this user. How can we get the a logged in user's ID? So we always get that from the local host. So we will do it again this time. So local host and get item and user ID. And then we will do then and response and if response and data and success and else here alert fail to get favorite video and we need to go here for making this api so favorite ross and copy and paste it and paste it in here and delete it so what we need to do in here is the we need to find all the movies that loading user added as a favorite movie so we will use the favorite models and find and user from so request and body and user from and execute the query and do call that function and fable reads and in here if error and return response and status 400 and send error and return and response response and status and 200 and json and success and true and favorite so now we go back to our favorite page and here's the after being successful for this api we need to put that all of the favorite movie information inside the state so state name will be favorite movies so initial state will be array so like this response data and favorites here so that's it for this step two so populate all the data in the browser so come back in here i'm just going to make one render table body and then we will declare this in here const like this and we will bring all of the favorite movies information in here we will do map and we got only one favorite movie and index so if we see here we have these three data cells so we need to first make that part return and tr and td and td and td first we need to put movie title so we bring from this the movie movie and movie title and the next one is movie runtime so movie movie runtime and the last one is the remove from the favorite so we just need to make the button in here remove from the favorites so I am going to save it in here and we go back to our application in here. Of course, I'm going to add some movie in here as a favorite movie. For it to log, I need to log in and then I just uh, go in here and then click this one. So now we have our, we have three favorite movies in here, uh, but the difference from our original one and this one is when we over this one we can see this movie is the poster so to do that we are going to use the entity design framework so and i will import the uh, pop over from entity and we will use this one uh in here so we will let this title part with this pop over because when we click just this part we will have this pop over so that's why I will let this that movie title with this pop over but uh, I need to give some props for this pop over that is the content 
this content will be uh, this poster and then we also need to uh, give this title props so this will be just the movie's title so first I'm just going to give this one and then we need to put the image in here but just uh, rather than just uh, put this image like this I will just declare in here first and then bring this one in here so I will just type the content and then we declare this content in here but we need to remember not every movie has their own post like this so we also need to consider that part so when movie and movie has their own post we only so populate the image if not we will just display this no image words and the source for the image is source and image url and and we need to have the post size this will be wide 500 and then name of the movie post movie post so art so now i'm going to save it and then go back to our application so now we can see the pop over in here with the image of the movie post so the last thing we need to do is to create the remove function so when we click this remove button so we will just remove this favorite movie from the favorite list so we will go back to our editors and just uh, in here we will make the unclick and the name will be unclick remove so we will declare this one in here actually this action is the uh, same as this one so if we click this one this one remove this movie from the favorite list if I click this one again so it will add it so that's why it actually same as clicking this remove button so we will just use this API we use for this button so we go back to our editor and then go to favorite components and we just uh, uh, copy this one and then paste it in here but we don't need this one because we don't have that button in here and there is one thing we need to do differently but first we need to have these variables in here uh, if I declare that variable in here like we need to put the movie ID and then user from so we already got user from like this so copy and paste it like this and the movie id or oh, we will get this movie id from in here when we trigger this on click we will also send this movie id argument in here so movie and movie id like this so we can get this movie ID as a parameter as a movie ID so we put this one in here so we got all of the properties for this variable and put this variable in here so so now I'm going to save it and then we go back to our application and go to favorite page and I'm going to just click this remove now we click it and then I refresh this page so that movie I just removed from the favorite has gone but, but what I just needed to do is to manually refresh this page like this so it has gone so after that that movie has disappeared but if we automatically want to let that movie go after we clicking this button is that we need to just trigger this API again so we get the fresh of favorite movie list so to do that so we need to use this part the second time so we need to set this one as a variable like this delete it and const fetch favorite 
movies. Here, and then we will trigger this one as soon as this dome is loaded. And then we also need to trigger this one after we delete the movie from the favorite list. So save it and then go back to our application. And if I click it, so uh, it automatically disappears after we click that one. So thank you for watching this video and see you in our next section. Thank you. Hello, my friends. Uh, it's going to be the last video for this movie app because uh, now it's time to make the comment and like and dislike feature. But I already made all of these features uh, inside this YouTube clone. So if you come in here and see this YouTube clone from 13th to the 19th, so you can see the comment system and comment and comment. And below there is the like and dislike feature. So the reason why I let you see the YouTube clone uh, instead of just uh, making everything from the scratch is if I let you see the code. Uh, this one is for the movie app and this one is for the YouTube clone. So if you see the code, actually all of the code are really same. Like you can see here, the APIs are the same and the, even the templates are the same. And if we go to like single command and single command in here, uh, you can see this unsubmit part here, same, yeah, same. Just uh, all of the code for comments and like feature are really same. Uh, the reason why it's really same is I really modulize all the feature. I just made one component for the comment and one component for like and dislike. So that's why I think it's better to just watch this uh, YouTube clones um, 13 to 19. I hope you can understand this one because there is really no reason to make uh, all the video for this one again because it will be just the same as this one so i hope you really understand it so um, uh, thank you for watching all of the video for this movie app and i am preparing to make the uh, shopping mall application and a chatbot application i hope you will also like my next project and see you in our next project thank you so much